Yes, I'm Arganyera Francis. I'm a journalist by profession. And I thank God for choosing me to be part of this training. I thank Greece for the opportunity. And as a journalist, I've learned a lot. Possibly, probably on perspectives. I come from Uganda, but we don't know much about what is taking place, especially in the Albertan Club. And so it has been a great chance for me as a journalist to meet the academia, the civil society, the, law, the lawmakers and the policy makers on such a training. And I hope when I go back, I will try to inform my fellow journalists about what is taking place in the Albertine region and I will encourage them to be part of the next training so that we can also benefit as the media, not for ourselves but for the general public. Because from here I'm going to inform the public what is taking place. You know most of the people are putting their eyes on mm -hmm. oil but there, there is some other as opportunities they can tap. For instance, agriculture sector can be improved. They tap money from there, not looking to the oil as the only source of money. I hope to do the best and inform my friends so that they can apply next time. And We've got problems with land, mm -hmm. especially in the, in the Albertan Graben. I was very impressed when we when we had we had a session on land like land compensation, land wrangles that are taking place, like that case study of uh, Mutonga, among other areas. Uh, this Edgar Edgar tried to explain much about land issues. Mm -hmm. And it is our responsibility to inform the public what they should do about their land. For instance, they need to get land titles mm -hmm. for their land to prepare for other opportunities that are coming. Another thing, they need to lease their land instead of selling. Mm -hmm. Once you lease your land, that means you will remain with your land after the activity.